friends. I wanted to read this story to you again today. Who can remember what this one was about? Do you remember what happened with Chester? Was he going to school? And how was he feeling about going to school? Was he a little scared, a little nervous? Mm-hmm. So we're gonna read this again. It's called The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. We're gonna listen to this again, okay? This time when you listen and watch, see if you see something new in the story. Or if you forgot something, maybe you can remember what happened. Chester Raccoon stood at the edge of the forest and cried. <laughs> I don't want to go to school, he told his mother. I want to stay home with you. I want to play with my friends and play with my toys and read my books and swing on my swing, please. Can I stay home with you? Mrs. Raccoon took Chester by the hand and nuzzled him on the ear. Sometimes we all have to do things we don't want to, she told him gently, even if they seem strange or scary at first. But you will love school once you start. You'll make new friends and play with new toys. You'll read new books and swing on new swings. Besides, she added, I know a wonderful secret that will make your nights at school seem warm and cozy as your days at home. Chester wiped away his tears and looked interested. A secret? What kind of a secret? A very old secret said Mrs. Raccoon. I learned it from my mother and she learned it from hers. It's called the kissing hand. The kissing hand, said Chester. What's that? I'll show you. Mrs. Raccoon took Chester's left hand and spread open his tiny fingers into a fan. Leaning forward, she kissed Chester right in the middle of his palm. Chester felt his mother's kiss rush from his hand up his arm and into his heart. Even his silky black mask tingled with a special warmth. Mrs. Raccoon smiled. Now, she told Chester, Whenever you feel lonely and need a little loving from home, just press your hand to your cheek and think, Mommy loves you, Mommy loves you. And that kiss will jump to your face and fill you with warm and toasty thoughts of home. She took Chester's hand and carefully wrapped his fingers around the kiss. Doesn't want to let it go. Now do be careful not to lose it, she teased him. <laughs> but don't worry. When you open your hand and wash your food, I promise, the kiss will stick. Chester loved his kissing hand. Now he knew his mother's love would go with him whenever and wherever he went, even to school. He's playing and he's still remembering his mother's love is still with him. That night, Chester stood in front of his school and looked thoughtful. Hmm. Suddenly, he turned to his mother and grinned. Give me your hand, he told her. Chester took his mother's hand in his own and unfolded her large familiar fingers into a fan. Next, he leaned forward and kissed the center of her hand. Now you have a kissing hand too, he told her. And with a gentle goodbye and I love you, Chester turned 
and danced away. Mrs. Raccoon watched Chester scamper across the tree limb and enter school, and as the hoot owl rang in the new school year, she pressed her left hand to her cheek and smiled. The warmth of Chester's kiss filled her heart with special words. Chester loves you, it sang. Chester loves you. That's the end. They're all at school. Good job, friends. So remember, Chester was really, really worried about starting school at the beginning of the story. And what ended up making him feel better about going to school? Hmm, do you remember? What made him feel better? Did you say it was his mom's kiss in his hand? That he remembered that he had his mother's love with him? Anywhere he goes throughout the day, even to school, his mother's love will still be right there with him. Right? So friends, even though we're not at school right now, if we come to school, or sometimes if you have to leave your family, sometimes you get a little nervous, a little scared or worried. But just remember that your family's love is always with you, no matter what. They're always there thinking about you and loving you. So remember that the next time you get a little scared or worried, say, oh, my mom or my dad or my auntie or my Grammy, they're with me no matter what. And they're going to always love me. Okay, just like Chester always loves his mama and his mama's always going to love him. All right, friends. Thanks for listening to our story today. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.